What's going on guys? Welcome to my gaming desk setup for 2024. Now in case this is your guys' first time to my channel, I recently moved into this new office space and previously I had one kind of giant desk setup that combined all of my needs. But once I moved into this space, I actually decided to separate my two desks. Right here we obviously have my gaming setup and then actually behind the camera I have kind of my productivity or creative setup. But in today's video it is all about the gaming desk setup. I want to walk you guys through everything in detail that you see here in this space. And as always, I will have anything that I talk about in today's video link down in the description below. And while you're down there, be sure to drop this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. But with all that being said, let's hop right into the gaming desk setup for 2024. All right, so first thing up, we have to talk about the actual desk itself. Now, I actually picked up this desk from Ikea and it's called the Ikea Trotten. The way my office is set up, I didn't have a gigantic space for my gaming setup. So I went to Ikea, I checked out some different options that they had, and I really wanted to keep this setup pretty minimal as far as colors go. It's it's a lot of black and white going on. So I found this desk, it fit the dimensions perfectly. It has a white top and black legs and it didn't break the bank either. So next up, let's talk about the chair I'm sitting in. Now this is the Corsair TC200. A few months back, my computer chair actually broke on me. And then one of the amazing reps at Corsair reached out to me, offered to send out a chair to test out. And I've now been using this chair for the last couple months and I am a huge fan of it. Now by no means am I a small dude. I'm about 6'5", 240 pounds, so it's not always easy for me to find a chair that fits me well, but this one actually does a great job. Even if I'm sitting in the chair for hours at a time, it's still really comfortable and it actually feels high quality too. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels sturdy. It's comfortable for long periods of time. I love that you can adjust all the different pieces of it. So I've actually been really pleasantly surprised with this chair so far. Now let's talk about the main piece of this entire setup, which is the gaming PC. Now this is actually the NZXT Player 2. And this is my first experience ever having a pre-built PC. My previous past two gaming computers I actually built myself which although it was a somewhat fun experience I actually just decided I'd never wanted to do that again it just took up way too much time for me so I was lucky enough I actually did a collaboration with NZXT last year they sent this computer out to me and it's safe to say I am never building my own PC again the entire experience was super easy all I had to do was unbox this computer plug everything in turn it on and it was ready to go immediately I'll throw the specs up on the screen but especially with that 4070 graphics card. Truthfully, this computer does everything that I need. Like I mentioned earlier, everything else I do creative or productivity and really anything else is on my MacBook. So this computer is strictly for gaming and really discord hanging out with the homies. And this plays Call of Duty, Apex Legends, Fortnite, really anything at really high frame rates looks really good as well. And the entire experience of having that pre-built PC was actually awesome. Now the thing that stands out the most about this setup is the monitor. Now this is actually a 34 inch LG ultra wide monitor. I actually at one point was using this monitor with my MacBook to kind of use it as my main editing monitor for, you know, working on video projects or editing photos, whatever. But once I got into this office, I figured why not try out the ultra wide for gaming and it actually looks really good. Now, is this the best spec monitor out there for gaming? No, absolutely not. And at some point I probably will go ahead and upgrade this monitor. But again, right now, for the most part, this is me just casually gaming. It looks amazing. I'm a big fan of the ultra wide so it does plenty for what I need and in case you're curious I actually have it on a monitor arm by Vivo it's pretty inexpensive I've used these monitor arms multiple times they have various different monitor arms depending on how you want to set up your desk I'm a big fan of monitor arms I think it just gives you a cleaner desk space and especially since this desk is somewhat compact I want to have as much surface area as possible so having a big monitor stand especially for an ultra wide would have just taken up too much space so I'll definitely make sure that's linked down below now moving on directly below that is actually my iPad Pro. Now I am heavy into the Apple ecosystem. We're talking iPhones, MacBooks, iPads, AirPods, Apple Watches, you name it. So even at my gaming setup, I like to keep my iPad on me at pretty much all times. Now I use my iPad for a ton of different things, including photo editing, or sometimes, especially here at my gaming setup, I like to throw on whatever games on that night, or maybe a fight if it's Saturday night, to kind of just have playing in the background, or to kind of multitask while I'm gaming, 
editing or just hanging out in Discord, I do a lot of my note taking or planning out my videos such as this one right here. So really whatever I'm doing, my iPad's usually very close by. Now to make sure I'm getting the most out of my iPad, I wanna give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Anchor. Right now my iPad is currently sitting on the Anchor 551. And this is not only a foldable stand, but it is also a USB-C hub for the iPad. It has a USB-C port for pass-through charging to keep your iPad charged whenever you need. It also has standard SD and micro SD card slots, which you know that's important for me. It has an HDMI port, two USB-A 3.0 ports, oh yeah, and a headphone jack as well. And the fact that it's adjustable by not only the height, but also the tilt, I really like, because right now I can make it short and it fits perfectly underneath my monitor here on this setup, but sometimes here around my office or in my living room, kitchen, wherever, I can have that up higher and change the tilt, height, whatever I need to always have my iPad in the right position. Now this USB-C hub, the eight in one, is perfect for a desktop scenario, but if you're looking for something for more when you're on the go, check out this USB-C hub, which is the Anchor 541. It has a USB-C and also a USB-A 3.0 port. It has an HDMI port, the two SD card slots again, standard and micro, and then you cannot forget about the headphone jack either. Again, this is just making sure I get the most out of my iPad no matter where I am or whatever I'm using it for. I obviously use it here at my desk, when I'm at my other desk, or even when I'm out traveling. These two items are essential. Also, you guys know if anything's gonna be sitting on my desk, it has to look good as well, and these pass the test. Now, I'll leave a link to both these items down in the description below if you guys wanna check them out for yourself. And a special shout out to Anchor for sponsoring today's video and supporting the channel. I've truthfully been using Anchor products for years. Like seriously, go back and check videos. So this partnership was just a no brainer. Now let's dive into all the tech and items on the desk. Let's go ahead and talk about the keyboard. Now this is the High Ground Summit 2.0. High Ground is one of my favorite companies out there in the tech space. They make some really high quality products as well as they do some of the coolest collaborations I've ever seen. Now I'm not gonna be someone who is building my own keyboard by any means. I just want something that's going to look good, sound good, and do what I need. And this checks all the boxes for myself. And I love the colorway of this one and just how it fits in with the rest of my setup here. Now to go along with that, it's sitting on a mouse pad also by High Ground. I just really like the design of this one. It matches the keyboard and it goes along aesthetically with the rest of the setup. So it was a no brainer for me to pick this one up. Now, when I'm reaching for a controller instead, I'm going for this one, which is the Scuff Nick Merckx collab. And this is one of the Xbox versions. The green gives a nice little pop of color here. And I absolutely love this controller. For the mouse, we have the Logitech Super Light 2. When I was building this setup, I put out a post asking for recommendations for different mouses to try out. And hands down, this was the most popular response. And I picked it up and I actually love it. It's super lightweight, but it still feels sturdy and it doesn't feel cheap. To me, it does everything I need and I went with the white again to kind of match the rest of the setup. Now, speaking of white, let's talk about that pod mic you guys see back there. So this is the Rode pod mic and I actually have a few different Rode pod mics here in my office. I use them sometimes for my sit down videos here for YouTube or different pieces of content. It's a very affordable, high quality microphone. And once I knew what kind of the color scheme of this setup was, I knew it had to go in this setup. So if you're in the market for a microphone, seriously, I would definitely consider one of the pod mics. They're really good. Now I have that microphone on the Elgato low profile mic arm. And similar to the monitor stand, I like the mic arm because it just kind of frees up some more space on the desk surface. It's perfect to have that mic wherever you need so when you're gaming, it doesn't get in the way. And I know people are gonna ask about the cord as well. And I went with that lime green to give me a pop of color and it kind of matches some different pieces of my office here. Now that XLR cable is connecting the pod mic to the Elgato Wave XLR. XLR. Now this is a microphone interface and digital mixing solution. In case that sounds like I read it off their website, it's because I just read it off their website. But seriously, this just connects my microphone to my PC, allows me to mix my audio so I get the right volume for my headset, my microphone, I can mute whenever I'm gaming or talking in Discord, whatever. It's a really nice, simple solution for someone like me who just wants to have good sounding audio and it's a quick and easy setup. Now on the other side of the desk here, I actually have an Elgato Stream Deck Plus. Now you might be looking at this setup and assume that I stream. Currently, I do not, but it's on my list of things I want to do. So if you guys would be interested in watching a live stream from me, let me know down in the comments below. So when I was building this setup, I kind of kept that in mind. And we'll talk more about that here in a second. But stream decks themselves are not new. You can customize this and change the buttons to do pretty much whatever you want on your computer. So truly for myself right now, it just has some of the basics set up. But if and when I get into the streaming world, I'm gonna have to customize that for all the different scenes and hotkeys I wanna set up for streaming. 
Now it's not a gaming setup without a good pair of headphones. And these are the Corsair Virtuoso Pros, which is an open back pair of headphones. And again, in that white colorway to kind of match the rest of the setup. And I actually really, really like these. They feel lightweight. They don't make my head hot after wearing them for, you know, more than 30 minutes at a time. I like the open back because I feel locked in, but I still kind of know what's going on around my surroundings here. And at the end of the day for me, they look great, but also they sound really good too. So for me, no complaints. I really like these a lot. And I love this design on the side. I think they look really clean. Now you probably see that camera sitting back there, right? That is actually the Sony ZV-E1. Now I actually have a good amount of content about that camera on my channel already. So feel free to check out more information on the camera itself. But again, going back to the potential of me maybe streaming someday, I wanted to get this desk completely set up for that capability. But in the meantime, I've actually been using the camera right there to film different pieces of content for myself. I filmed a YouTube video with that camera at that exact angle and then various different pieces of vertical content for my other socials as well and that angle actually looks really really clean so I kind of just have that camera sitting there so I can kind of quick turn content and then also if we start streaming down the road it's pretty much ready to go oh yeah and that's sitting on a camera mount by small rig so I'll make sure that's linked too. now part of the reason why that camera angle looks so good is the lighting here in this setup you've probably noticed this large kind of lantern light up behind me here the light itself is a Godox SL6 60W. And then the big lantern there is actually a lantern attachment by a brand called Newer. Now it's actually a really good budget friendly combo of a nice light and light fixture. I like the lantern attachments. I actually have multiple of them here in my office. It gives the subject a nice, beautiful soft light. And it also kind of helps brighten up the rest of your space as well. So it's perfect for my setup. Now, in case you're wondering what that light is attached to, that pole back there in the corner is from a brand called Veripole. And shout out to Lo. He's the one who kind of put me onto these. But it's essentially a light pole or, you know, C-stand alternative that uses tension to go from the floor to the ceiling. And why that's so nice is because it has like a very small footprint at the bottom. So instead of having your traditional light stand that has like three big legs at the bottom, it'd be impossible to put it that close to the corner. So with that Veripole, I'm able to put it right up against that corner. I have the light attached with a super clamp and I'm able to kind of have it in that small space back there. Crazy big content hack. I have a few of them here in my office game changer. And then of course, we got to talk about the wall art. This sneaker poster is from a company called Kick Posters. Great name, I know. But I am a huge sneaker head. I've been into shoes my entire life. And if you know what that shoe is, it is my favorite shoe of all time. It fits the vibe of my entire office. I literally have my entire sneaker collection right there. And that red gives just a small hit of color to the rest of this setup. And also a small hidden gem. It's not really part of the setup, but it's kind of part of the setup. I have a Mac Miller canvas right there on that inner wall by my door. And then last but not least, we have my custom LED that says The Lab. And actually recently I started my own brand called Lab Culture. You guys may have seen my other neon here in my office or I have a few hats that I've been wearing in content. Some sneak peeks, so stay tuned for more on that. But that neon just fit perfectly over my monitor here at this setup and it really just kind of brings together the entire thing. So guys, that is my gaming desk setup for 2024. I absolutely love having a dedicated space for this setup. As I mentioned, all the the items that I talked about in today's video will be linked down in the description below. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below because we are on the road to hitting 100K. And now that you guys are here, you should check out some more content on my channel, such as my office tour, and that way you guys can see this entire space. But that's gonna be it for me. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.